Uh, hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how do we merge rows and columns in a table. Uh, we shall start backslash uh, document class and we don't need this square bracket part and within the curly bracket, we are writing the document type which is article. Okay, and we'll be using a package called multi row. Okay, this is a package we'll be using. So this is our initial setup. Now we shall begin the document, begin document and we shall begin tabular and we shall have, just to convince you, I'll have two columns here. This is the first column and this is the second column. And in the first column, we shall have a paragraph with the width of that column is 3 centimeter. And the same thing for the second column, we shall have a paragraph and width of that is also 3 centimeter. Okay. Now, go to next line. We shall have one horizontal line. After this horizontal line, backslash, the first row of the table, in the sense its column has to be merged. Uh, you will get an idea when I uh, write this code and compile it. Uh, multi column okay i want to merge two column that will come under the first pair of parentheses and i have to align that at the center with a border both in the left side and as well as in the right hand side and i have to in the uh, in the third pair of parentheses i have to give the uh, that particular merged cell Title. So, I'll give it as M-E-R-G-E-D merged column. Okay. I'll go to next line. I'll plot one horizontal line. And next is the content. Ampersand. This is the first column. Content. Go to next line. Plot one horizontal line. And this is this corresponds to first row of the table. Control C. Second row of the table third row of the table, fourth row of the table. Let me compile it for you. I have an error. It is saying that illegal character in array ARG. Okay, I'm sorry. This is... Yeah, this is P only. Yes. What was the mistake? This was capital P, so I just replaced it to small p. <coughs> okay, so this is our table. As you can see from this table, uh, I have merged the first two columns in the first row. Okay, just to make just to make it nice, or just to look. Uh, 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 just to make it nice, I'll just make this first merge cell in a bold, bold form. So, how do we do it? Backslash text bf, open the curly bracket, and after that text, you close the curly bracket. Let me compile it. Now, this looks bold. Okay. Now, uh, you can even beautify it more. Uh, if I put one more vertical line here and put one more vertical line here and if I compile this see we have two vertical lines but if you want vertical line for the first row as well then you have to give vertical line here at the merged cell and one more here okay now if I compile it you get to see a nice table where its two columns are merged fine now even you can uh, merge the row also. Let's say if I want to merge the first two rows, so these first two rows corresponds to this, right? So what I'll do at the first row, backslash multi row, first pair of parentheses, curly bracket, so two, why two? Because I'm merging these two rows, okay? And second pair of curly bracket, you just give star. This is the format they defined, you make it as star. And the third pair of uh, curly bracket you have to give the title of that merged row so i'll give it as m e r g e d 
row okay basically what i did in this line is in this line is i merged these two row and i named this two row as merged row okay and these two remain as it is so that's why i'm not going to alter these two content ampersand content but so once you merge this this has to go to the next column so for that i have to give one ampersand sign once ampersand sign goes to the next column once you have this content this content has to go to, after this this has to go to the next line so for that i'll put one more new line symbol now if i compile this see now these two i mean first two rows has been merged and this is not been altered okay so i have given you an idea how do we merge row and column in the table if you improvise if you want to improvise this you can do it